Today I'm going to be talking about how laughter brings healing, so stay tuned for the teaching. Yes, I'm on the subject today of how laughter brings healing, the importance of laughter. You know, I have several different examples just from a practical perspective of laughter. But you see, the scripture tells us also in, in um, Ezekiel 3, 4, that that one area in the scripture says that there's a time to laugh. And the Word of God has a lot to say concerning laughter. In fact, Proverbs 17, 22 tells us that a merry heart does good, like medicine, but a broken spirit dries up the bones. You know, I, there are several examples I've got on my mind to share with you today, and one of them is the story of a man that um, was diagnosed with cancer. And as the story goes, he understood this principle in, this, in, the, in the Word of God here in Proverbs 17, 22, and he went and read a bunch of just hilarious, funny movies. And just to make the long story short, this man laughed his way to health and vitality. Eventually, that cancer was overcome and out of his body because of the benefit of laughter. See, the scripture says, a merry heart does good. An another scripture, uh, another um, scripture says from a different translation, a rejoicing heart does good to the body. In other words, the direct benefit of laughter for your body. I tell you, there's just sometimes that we just need to laugh at life, laugh at the negative things of life, laugh at the problems in life, laugh at the circumstances and the, and the, and all the negative that would come from the world, and of course, coming from the source of the demonic realm, of course. But laugh. Because you see, when you do that, you're taking significance off of something. You're you're not uh, you're not magnifying the wrong things. Instead, you're putting down the bad, but you're magnifying the goodness of God. When your heart opens up to the Word of God, and your heart magnifies the goodness of God, your heart magnifies His Word to a place of prominence within your thoughts, within your emotions. With you know, it's a benefit to your body to laugh at the bad in life. In other words, laugh. Edit, not for it, edit. And so another testimony I've got here concerning laughter is a minister that um, he is, his business was doing poorly because he, he did business as well as ministry. And, um, you know, the Lord spoke to him to sit outside of his business and laugh at the problems, not you know, in other words, not not against any particular people, things, but against the problem, against the, the bad in the business, because you see, it was bothering him. It was having an influence upon his heart and how he believed. And you see, when the bad in life comes, the danger is this, you'll reach out and take a hold of the bad according to what you believe about it, and you'll magnify it. You'll put it in a place of prominence within your heart and in your thoughts, your emotions, your feelings, and you'll magnify it something out of proportion in the area of speculation sometimes going beyond the actual facts of what happens in life and moving into the area where your mind, your imagination gets a hold of it and you just magnified the bad. And I'm telling you where to magnify the goodness of God and laughter is a benefit to our heart because you see Proverbs again, a rejoicing of the heart does good for the body. It goes on to say, and a smitten spirit dries up the bones in this particular translation. You know, a smitten spirit, that word smitten, of course, is talking about something that attacks or has an effect that is severe effect upon us. Another translation says that a merry heart doeth good like medicine, but a broken spirit dries up the bones. You see, a broken spirit is talking about the area of the inward heart of man, the area of the soul of man that, um, you know, when you're talking about the hidden man of the heart, you're talking about um, the very person, who we are on the inside of us, other words. And when the soul is influenced and affected by the negative aspects of life, it has a detrimental effect upon us, our heart, and it's a benefit to laugh. It's just a benefit in life to magnify the good in life and just laugh. I tell you, it's a benefit to us physically because when the scripture's talking about the bones, then we're talking about the very root of our inward body and who we are. Because you see, when it's scripture says in Proverbs 17, 22 from the Amplified Version that a happy heart is a good medicine, it goes on to say it's a prevention of disease. 
I tell you, laughter is a prevention, and it's a cheerful mind that works healing, but a broken spirit dries up the bones. And when you look at this context of drying up the bones, we're talking about an effect upon the nervous system. We're talking about the marrow in the bones, an effect at that level. In other words, the root level of us physically. I'm telling you, God just wants you to laugh. He wants you to have an internal perspective, his perspective in life, and have a joyful heart. Proverbs 15, 13 says, a joyful heart makes a cheerful face, but when the heart is sad, the spirit is broken. In Proverbs 12, 25 says, anxiety in a person's heart weighs it down. But a good word makes it glad. And we've got the word of God that our creator, God himself, our heavenly father, has spoken to us through his son, the word of God that has come by inspiration of the Holy Spirit and the word of God that is God's word that we can put into a place of prominence within our heart and how we're believing and magnify the goodness of God. See, in Romans chapter 5, verse 2, it says, Though whom we also have obtained our induction by faith into this grace in which we stand, and we celebrate in the hope of the glory of God. And verse 3 says, And now only this, but we also celebrate in our tribulations, knowing that the tribulation brings about perseverance, and perseverance proven character, and proven character hope. And hope does not disappoint because the love of God has been poured out within our hearts through the Holy Spirit who has been given to us. I tell you, we've got the goodness of God that belongs to us because of Jesus Christ. We've got an expectation of good and because we've got the love of God towards us that we need to magnify and we just need to laugh, laugh, laugh. Laughter is a benefit to our heart.